Hey, what's up, guys? Mr. Mom. Bringing it at you on a Tuesday, guys. Just wanted to show you real quick what I got rolling here. Um, hooking up a little uh, refugium. Eh, like a refugium for the Pico tank here. Uh, really, the best. I mean, I don't have a lot of room on the back of this thing. Um, you know, I got enough for the big box filter here. Um, again, just rolling the bio wheel and just rolling carbon in a bag. Um, and that thing and then this here you can see the little I don't have any water I don't have it running right now um, but this is just a little LED light um, little suction cup I drilled a hole here in the top um, that LED light actually fits perfectly on that hole right there so when you get it lined up I get pretty good light beamage into the top of the, of the filter there suction cup works awesome too so um, and then as far as you know inside the refugium just going to be rolling pretty simple. I mean, got some chato moss in there, and then I got some. You guys can see inside there. I got some live rock rubble down in there. Yeah, some rubble, some rubble rock, some Bernie rubble rock, and some chato moss here on the top. Um, yeah, and that's it. And then you know, add more water to the unit and all that stuff. Um, so that's kind of like a little mini refugium and then basically the idea with the light is I mean you can run it 24-7 I guess and this one might run 24-7 I don't really know um, and I think that's enough light beaming down in there it's, it's beaming pretty good once you get it lined up good it beams pretty good so um, yeah I mean that's just a small the small hang on the back filter that came um, with the tank Trying to get a little bit more light on it here. I'm using this light bar. Yeah, there we go. Just to hang on the back filter um, that came with the tank, and it's really inadequate to run filtration on this tank. So, um, you know, I put the chato moss in there, and I put the rubble rock in the bottom, stuffed the chato moss, and then the light, the little LED light action. Um, but at least you want to at least run the light in the refugium at night, and hopefully I can keep the, you know, that'll keep the pH uh, balanced a little better. And uh, this is just a cheap LED light from uh, from PetSmart. Um, not what I want to run on here. You know, I run the LEDs on it um, along with the 50-50 uh, for about an hour, hour and a half at night before I turn the lights off. But uh, here in about a week, maybe two weeks, I got a lot of things going on financially right now. But uh, we'll be letting up on that soon. And I'll be uh, I'll be uh, redoing the light on this. I'm getting an 18 watt LED block light for this. It's just going to be. It's going to be more than enough, trust it. So everything's looking good though, the Xenia. Um, it's actually pulsating now. Open real nice, growing like gangbusters. That stuff's not hard. That thing's not really spreading yet because uh, I've moved it around a bunch. But uh, this Zoa is spreading violently. Um, I'm going to get more corals, guys. I mean, I'm just, I'm waiting to really upgrade my light more than anything. Um, and I'm going to get some different kinds of candy cane corals. I don't really like these. These don't really, these are like the grade B corals. These are not going to really spread and clump on the heads like I want them to. Um, and then this, the color, you can see the lighting's not adequate because I'm not getting good color. I mean, they're growing and they're not dying, but the colors are kind of washed out. So, um, and then there's this little mushroom right here. Look at that little guy. He's pure small, like a dime. He's hiding in there. A little green mushroom. So, I mean, I got some other things to go in here, guys, but uh, I'm really enjoying it. And it's even just a Pico tank, and I'm just really enjoying the hell out of it. So, loving that mushroom, by the way. But, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the DIY Pico refugium that I put up. Um, leaving the light on, hopefully, you know, balance out my pH a little bit. Um, it can't hurt. It can't hurt to add more live rock and some chato moss and stuff like that on such a small unit. Any little bit helps. So, um, there it is, guys. Tell me what you think. Um, Pico tank action, people. Mr. Mom tanks, J Flesh tanks. You know the rest, guys. You know what to do. Thanks for watching. Peace.